Hey, it's Ghost with Combat Sports Supply, and today we're going over the Pro Force Sig Sauer M17, also known as the P320, made by VFC. Now, what can you use this for? Well, since it's the new service pistol for the US military, uh, any of your US NATO kits you can run this with. They're great for training, especially if you own the real 320. This is gonna be perfect for training around your house and whatnot without wasting your ammo. There's a green gas and CO2 variant. Today we're gonna to be going over the green gas one. We've had the CO2 ones in before, but we had a couple of minor issues with them. We'll go over that later in the video. So what do you say we open this up, see what's in it? You've got your pistol, your magazine, your quick start guide slash some warnings, and then hiding underneath where the magazine was is your hop-up adjustment tool. They oil it a lot from the factory, so you're gonna wanna at least give the outside of it a brief rub down to get all the excess oil off. Well, there is a ton of extra oil on this barrel right now. You're gonna get a pistol with a metal slide, polymer receiver, I wanna say the trigger's metal, yeah, and your metal magazine. So to start off on the top of the gun, you've got your rear sight block with an RMR plate attachment. They do make an RMR sight for this. You go all the way up to your front sight, which is dovetailed in and mounted from the bottom. Easy enough to tighten down if it becomes loose. The real one would come with tritium sights on it. And then you have your ambidextrous safety and slide release. Your slide release to take down so you can remove it and maintenance this. And your magazine release. We haven't tried it yet, but in theory, that should be reversible. It's the same notch on both sides and the magazine is notched on both sides. It's actually a fairly light trigger pull and fairly short. Now it does have the standard SIG stippling all the way around the grip, which is nice. Works well with gloves or bare hands. It does even extend to the bottom of the magazine as well. It does normally come with a 21 round extended mag for the real one. This is the replica of it. And it's honestly a really nice magazine. It's got good grip on it. You're not gonna drop it easily. On the bottom of the barrel assembly on the main receiver, you will have a three slot Picatinny system for mounting any of your accessories to this. It does have both front and rear stippled grip points for racking. Now, how do you adjust the hop up in this? Cause it doesn't really have a hop up here to adjust or the barrel hop up some systems have. So a neat feature with the M17 is how you adjust the hop up on it. It's somewhat like a Glock, except they made it externally accessible with the tool. It goes on your guide rod and adjusts up or down. Each of these things will be individually serialized. So if you need to do basic maintenance or you wanna mount the RMR system on it, you're gonna have to take the slide off, which involves going back to that notch Rotating the lever down, and the whole slide comes off the front. So if you were adjusting that front hop-up system, it's actually adjusting this wheel, which is notched into the actual hop-up and will pull it up and down. Now, if you've misplaced your tool, or you have it apart already and you need to tweak it a little bit, it can be adjusted from here. It just rotates with your thumb. So to put the RMR system on, which is sold separately, but is really nice, you'd have to remove these three screws up here in the back of the slide to then pop this plate off. They're what secure it down. Now, in case you're wondering what it looks like, this is the actual RMR for this pistol. SIG does sell it separately. It comes with two mounting plates, one for an airsoft pistol and one for a real pistol. You will need to take the rear sight off of the original plate. It is a separate piece. That's actually what screws into the body of the gun to mount the plate so you can put the optic on. Putting the slide back on is actually easier than taking it off. You're gonna line it up with your rail system, slide it back until you get to that notch, and just set it forward. Final thoughts on this thing. I actually love SIGs. I ran a Airsoft SIG P226 for years. I would love to run one of these. Couple of minor issues with them, specifically the CO2 one. Uh, as one of the gun techs here, we've had minor issues where they've blown the nozzle up in the gun. Minor issue, but fixable. But other than that, honestly, a really good pistol. Don't be a fool!